All right, well, I found myself in a position where I can't fish for about four weeks. Um, so that's gonna send me a little bit crazy, I'll tell you right now. Um, I thought during this time would be a good, good um, chance for me to run through a few products and stuff um, that I've been lucky enough to have been using for quite a while. Um, these are the new goats from Zedman. These have been out for a couple of months now um, and so far they've proven really, really, really good fish catching plastics. The versatility of them I think is the, the thing that's going to set them a little bit apart from other plastics. They come in three sizes, um, so this one here is a baby goat um, and he's like three inches long. So the beauty of that size obviously is um, your smaller size fish obviously, but when fish are feeding on um, jelly prawns, which happens a lot up here in North Queensland, especially sort of after that wet season where rink's flushed out, that is a really, really nice size. It's, it's finesse, but there's enough action through these little paddlers here that just gets bites. I've caught some good size barra and jacks when they're honed in on these tiny little baits when I couldn't get them on anything else. Um, rigged probably on sort of like a 2 so a 2-0 um, uh, SWS chin locks for surface and same, you know, 2 way for your headlocks if you want to just run them along, you know, slow roll, etc. Um, one size up is the 375. So that is the Z Man Goat. It's a nice, yeah, nice plastic. And then we got the big dude. Um, he's 425 long and he's the Billy Goat. Um, it's going to be absolutely awesome. I actually haven't got to use these too much. I've been throwing the smaller model, the middle model for. Um, Jackson bar up here, but this guy is just, yeah, he, the action, the weight, just just skips, casts a long, long way, um, brilliant plastic. Okay, rigging. So the beauty of these guys is they can be rigged in a, quite a few different ways. Uh, so we're looking at the traditional way, we've got just your normal uh, J-hook, um, that's a 4-0, and just like with any plastic, you obviously want to just Thread him, you want to stay nice and down the middle. And then you just want to pop him out there. Thread him up over that keeper. Okay. And then what you want is something that resembles that. So you can see it's nice and straight. Um, lots of hook exposure. That's that's the brilliant, one of the brilliant things these plaque is. So yeah, he's a fair bit of weight there, so it casts really well. The little legs here paddle around really nicely. Um, so you can do a, a drop and a bit of a pulse up and the legs will pulse. So that's one way or just a nice, just a nice slow roll. Uh, or get eaten, um, definitely. So that's just your normal way of rigging. Okay, same placky. Um, where we got here? Onto... That's an uh, 4 chin locks from TT. So this is what I'll use for, um, if you can see that. This is for surface, so you're just going through the bottom of the placking. You don't want to go too deep, just, just out the end there. Pop him up over that keeper. Twist him around. Once again, nice and central to the placking. And through. Okay, so we've now got that's your top water presentation. So you don't need weight. These guys are pretty heavy. There's a bit of body to them. They cast really well. They skip great. Um, and yeah, super fun. Throw them up the back of your snags and in your undercut banks and your overhanging mangroves um, and just sort of burn them out. Um, the beauty of these is, um, like your frogs, but you can um, just, on a slow roll, they'll just paddle, they'll paddle out. You can burn them quicker and they paddle quicker. Um, the other thing too is you can sit there and just sort of lightly little pulses. So if you if your fish are just a little bit slower, you can just sort of sit it there um, on the surface and just sort of pulse it, and these legs sort of just kick and flutter. Um, so far, I found the hookup rate on them absolutely awesome. Um, I'm not sure if I've just been luckier, um, but yeah, just I don't know. Maybe just the smaller the body's not quite as wide as 
as the frogs, I've just found the hookup rate has been really, really good. So, um, which is a great thing because most people that fish top water will know uh, hookup rate can be uh, a little bit average sometimes. Okay, so that's them. Now the beauty of these, um, that hook there is if you've got the heads from which are from the snake locks from TT, if you can see that. So if you fish in a bank and it's um, nice for surface and then all of a sudden you come to a, a, a bank with loads and loads of snags on it and you want to fish it deeper. So you can just thread this hook onto this jig head. You now have, if you can see that, you now have a weighted plastic um, which is pretty much snag proof. So you can now cast him in, let him sink all the way to the bottom or down to the desired depth and then just slowly paddle him out or pulse him out, whichever way you want to retrieve it. So that's sort of three techniques, um, three ways of rigging these plastics and, and all of them, they just look brilliant. They, they're good. The best thing about these plackies, obviously, um, as well, is that coming from Zedman, they're 10 times tough. Um, that plastic that I've been using has actually gone through probably two or three sessions here at Hinchy. Um, he's probably caught a good dozen fish and still not really ripped really much at all and still going strong. So, yeah, that 10 times stuff just, yeah, that's it. So that is the new goats from Zedman. Um, if you, if you interested in trying something different, um, you want a new surface lure, then I definitely recommend going out and uh, getting yourself into them.